Texas Tech is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. On the ground, inside. He gets to about the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Brought down around the 43-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 43. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Game of one on the play. Third down. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48. Almost intercepted there. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Bring him down around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line. He fires this one. He's taken down around the 13-yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tackle made at the five. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the five. Ready! Red 18! And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and two. It's the 11th play of the drive. And they make the stop at the five-yard line. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. It's scooped up by the offense. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Number one on the top at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Mike, 36. Mike. And he's tackled at 
to positive yardage. That's good to have a lot of yards. Watch the curve. That brings us up in the Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Take off. 36. 36. Take off. Caught open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40 yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. And he's sacked. A really good call here by the defense coordinator. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. The blitz didn't get home, but it did free up a defensive lineman to get to the quarterback to come up with that sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. As a man, he'll lose big yards. They lose four there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. He's wrapped up for the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They come out on an empty backfield. Oklahoma! Gets to about the 44-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second down and 11. Ball on the 44-yard line. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Played one quarter, still no score. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. Mike seven, Mike seven. Watch the run, watch the run. Watch the run. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's tackled right around the 20. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly. Giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Based on their last visit to the red zone, I'd expect them to take better care of the ball this time around. Tackle around the 16 yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That makes it second and six. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Right. 
Quick throw. And they push him out at the eight-yard line. Eight-yard gain on the pass. That'll be good enough for the first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 55-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. And they got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. And he's tackled right around midfield. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. And down he goes at about the 35. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. They come out in a five wide set. Throws it in a hurry. That'll make it second in inches. Catches it, gets out of bounds. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Five wide. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Call it a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. 18, look for 18. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't got 225. Two, two, don't get 25. nervous. Yeah. Throws complete, he's got space to work. They'll bring him down right around the two-yard line. Number two makes the tackle at the two-yard line. That brings him second and goal. hit immediately. They'll get him for a loss. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Good 
job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. TCU is up by four. Quick pass, and he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference. Offense. It's pretty tempting to try to Still push off the defender, especially when the coverage is really tight. When the officials see your arms extend, they're going to throw the flag. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Here we go! Caught with room to work. He's taken down at about the 21. So they go to the air and pick up six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. He's under pressure. They'll make the sack. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Brought down at the 43. Texas Tech's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at the drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. That's a game of nine on the play. That brings up second and nine. Hey, watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the safety creep! Nice run up the middle. First down. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's got him out the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He scrambled. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. TCU's going to take their first time out of the half. Whiteout makes the first down catch. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Quickly incomplete. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He rifles it. Almost intercepted. Number three was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Throws it to the outside. 
almost picked off. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. Big stop by the defense. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That brings up second to Texas Tech is up a field goal. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 10-7, Texas Tech. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. to his receiver in a hurry. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Texas Tech is up by three. He gets rid of this one. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Looks to his receiver, first down, and he's taken down right around the 40. First down. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 35. That's a game of three five on the play. Roger, Roger. First Roger, down. 36, 36 to Mike. He don't know no better. Go, go. Ah. Ah. Rose quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. quickly and it's picked off and the quarterback just can't believe it he really wishes he could have that one back every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back however hey a pick is a pick and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back from their own 26 yard line it's first down Now 
he tries to buy some time. And he is drilled at the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. At the 35-yard line. The reception. Good for a gain of six yards. Third down. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Fires it out, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Receivers got the first down, and he shoved out of bounds to 36 yard line. Slings it. Brought down at the 33. That makes it second and six. This is the eighth play of this drive. Mike seven, Mike seven. In your face. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line. First down. There he goes. Gets out to around the 15. This is the 10th play of this drive. They come out on an empty backfield. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. First down, TCU. Tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He sends this one deep. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas Tech's game plan is to put the ball in the air. You've got to have somebody to catch it on the other end, and they've got a good one. Yeah, and this defense knew coming into this game that this is the difference maker, that they had to be able to slow down. And so far, they've not been able to come up with the answers on how to slow him down and take him away from the offense. And they got it. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. And he throws it away. From their own 18-yard line. Third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He airs it out. That close to being intercepted. Number 18, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. The 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. TCU's team's playing very well here in the third quarter, and they're showing why they're ranked where they are right now. Yeah, there's no doubt. The sleeping giant was awakened at halftime, and now this second half, they're starting to really establish who they are and why they have such a big reputation. I'm sure that touchdown on their last possession has given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. TCU is up four. Nice run there. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Seven's a Mike. Mike seven. Hey, blue 88. Makes the first down catch. And he's got it. That's a great tackle at the 48 yard line. Runs right, hit hard. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. So at the end of the third quarter, TCU in front, 14-10. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Mike Seven! Ready! Here comes the pressure, and he hits him hard at the 44. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. TCU holds a four-point lead. He steps out around the 46-yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. That makes it fourth and eight. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 18. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and six. Let's go! Go! Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 37. A score here might effectively end this one. 
TCU is up by four. Grabs it and hammered right there. Number 29, tackles him for a loss. The 37 yard From their own 37 yard line. Second down. Let's go! Red 18! Red 18! Hut hut! From their own 38 yard line. Third down. Red, easy, easy, easy. Rally, rally. Hut hut. Receiver. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 28. The Red Raiders have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him or do they do something different? Well, I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. Throws complete. He's hammered. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Just under two minutes in the game. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 40. That makes it first and ten. Fires it quickly. Has it to the senior. And down he goes. Right around the 26-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. Number 36 makes the tackle at the 21 yard line. That brings him second and five. He's out of bounds around the 16 yard line. Gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Gets it out to him again, and he tackles him hard at the eight. Texas Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. We've got second and goal. Ball on the eight. Enzo picked off. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. Under a minute left in the game. He'll go down to one knee. Red Raiders using their third and last timeout. From their own 18-yard line. Second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Well, that's just a 
huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Texas Tech's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.